Dorothy Parker, Tallulah Bankhead, Harpo Marx, some other people you've never heard of. These are the famed wits that gathered around the round table here at the Algonquin Hotel in Manhattan. But today, something's happening at this hotel that's way funnier than anything those dead people ever said. A cat fashion show. Let's check it out. Tell us what we can expect tonight. What exactly is this event? The Algonquin Hotel has had a resident cat since the 1930s. As part of her duties in the hotel, she hosts every year a function to raise money. Matilda's signature event is having a cat fashion show. The Moodles, as we call them, are all from the Westchester Cat Club, so they're used to being dressed. Just like the backstage scene in a Fashion Week tent, these cats are primped, pampered, and primed for the show. These fashionable felines are just like human models, minus the eating disorders and the casual heroin abuse. It's not as bad as it looks, I promise. How yeah. long have you been dressing your cats up in clothing? Well, the first time uh, my friend Carla called and she said, you know, we make these beautiful costumes. And she does. She does impeccable work. They're gorgeous. They are. And you see all the detail and everything. They're absolutely who beautiful. Is, who is this? This is Quiva. Oh, my goodness. How does she like wearing this outfit? And this is the first time she's ever done it. She's yeah. doing fine. He looks like he is from the jungle and could not be less familiar with this magician costume you've given him. Well, he'll wear anything. He'll do anything. But he, is, he does come from the African serval, but he's bred down mm -hmm. to domestic. So It just seems so funny. Like, if he ever went back to the African plains wearing that, they'd probably pick on him. Yeah, they probably would. The fashionista who creates this hot cat couture is Carla Reese, head designer of the Meow Wear fashion label. You designed all the costumes for tonight's cat fashion show event? I did, yes. And, and I, I fabricated all of them, yes. And does that include Elvis's costume over it here? It does, yes. And how much does Elvis weigh? Because this is a giant cat. Elvis is 25 pounds, and it's solid muscle. There's not an ounce of fat on him. Unlike the real Elvis, <laughs> who would eat oh, peanut boy. butter sandwiches on the toilet, I must say, this is very Midsummer's Night Dream, Stevie Nicks, like, after rumors, before leather and lace. What are some of Carla's influences? Light FM? Does what you design take its cues from the personality of the cat that you're working with? I try to just go with what I'm inspired to do. Sometimes I'll do things that are inspired by the fashion world or Hollywood. But, you know, it's, it's all dependent on, on what I think will look good on a cat figure. From rabbit costumes to Judy Jetson jackets, the cat clothing world is truly on the cutting edge of avant-garde fashion. Oh, I had a jacket just like this in sixth grade. It wasn't popular. And no fashion show could be complete without an exclusive after party featuring a raffle and complimentary alcoholic beverages. Do you have cats at home? <laughs> yes, I do. What are your cats' names? My cats' names are the dead, but it's okay. How do you two know each other? We know each other through a drinking community. <laughs> <laughs> you met each other at an AA meeting? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Who's your favorite cat woman? Don't say Anne Hathaway. Well, the one in my memory, the clearest, is Julie Newmar. Oh. Good answer. Are there any medical advantages to cats wearing clothes? Um, well, you have your Rex cats, which don't have any hair. Mm -hmm. So it helps to protect them, especially if they're outdoors in the sun. What's the most common thing that people come to see you about their cats? Is it behavioral? Is it spayed and neutered? What, what's, what do you see most in, in people that bring you your cat, yeah, cats? Yeah, we see a lot of skin problems, and we see a lot of uh, pooping outside the box problems. Yeah, which is worse than thinking outside the box. Uh, absolutely. And for what reasons? All, all kinds of reasons? Much harder to clean up. So what have we learned today? That the Algonquin Hotel is still an iconic location, and that fashion shows are way more fun when you can pet the models. But most of all, that all cats should wear clothes. For The Daily Beast, I'm Julie Klausner.